we're getting more and more into cryptos and had a look at Litecoin this morning and uh, it's we're not 100% sure about the location I think but we were quite sure about the time well, but I think before we, we begin, uh, we should put in some disclaimers. Um, yeah, but the disclaimers we put in the, into writing under the okay. video. Nobody wants to listen to that. <laughs> okay, no. I mean, this is no trading advice. It's yeah. just for your enjoyment. For, uh, entertainment. And, and entertainment. We don't <laughs> tell you where to buy or what to buy. Yeah. And, just, al and also it's unproven. You know, I mean, Vedic astrology has been proven before, but yeah. uh, applying it on cryptos is, you no, know, uncharted an, territory. It's so. a big experiment. Okay. Yeah. So, with that spirit, let's look at Litecoin. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was very interesting for me because I have a lot of Litecoins, and uh, um, at, interestingly, when and Swami did not uh, know either Charlie Lee or, I mean, he did not look at Litecoin before at all. So, actually, I know nothing about the cryptos. Uh, I just know astrology, and so basically uh, I'm pretty naive and ignorant mm -hmm. about cryptos uh, but it's kind of interesting how to sort of look look at it from just uh, you know with uh, a with a with a sort of unbiased view of looking at cryptos or, or these um, at, li yeah. at litecoin without knowing anything about exactly, it exactly yeah so basically prior. a little bit like a technical trader would do yeah. without knowing any fundamentals exactly yeah yeah. And, um, yeah, so I was quite surprised and what he said to me in the morning or like a few hours ago and about Litecoin and then um, I kind of considered what he said and I actually had to agree with him that I had the same feeling about a year ago and I bought into Litecoin I think 2013 already just after Bitcoin so it's been a long run and that's yeah I, I leave it up to you to <laughs> to describe what Litecoin describe is. What, what you see about. So, uh, if you remember when we talked about Bitcoin, and I had described Bitcoin as this very attractive, seductive, um, uh, uncontrollable uh, or unmanageable, um, sexy woman. Uh, uh, you know, if I use that analogy for um, for Bitcoin. Uh, the analogy I would use for Litecoin is uh, is a total like geek who has emotionless, expressionless, and uh, it's uh, it really focuses on fundamentals. So Litecoin uh, would not be driven by erratic emotion. Well, Litecoin is probably the uh, is uh, is going to be diff driven by fundamentals. I mean, people who want to buy into Litecoin will probably just buy for it because of because they know the fundamentals really well and that would propel them to invest in Litecoins but it won't be driven by erratic or popular demand. So you find that, um, I mean I find uh, when I was uh, studying for instance the stock market um, that the stock market is not driven by fundamentals. Um, it's driven by uh, people's emotions and um, Bitcoin is definitely driven by emotions. When we look at Litecoin, uh, they, it's really not driven by, there's no emotions in it. Yeah. It's just, so it's, so it's, it's, it sounds to me a little bit like, um, could institutions be interested in Litecoin? Because yeah. they are very, rather emotionless. Institutions and people who are just focused on fundamentals and not looking at, uh, yeah. at, uh, at um, you know, at the spikes. So it's very unusual for cryptos. This sounds more like a commodities market description yeah, or something yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, wheat yeah. futures or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and I mean, yeah, so basically um, it will, the way I look at it is that it will continue to grow, but it will just be grow, it will grow because of fundamentals, not because of um, other factors. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I mean, it did so in dollar terms the last year, it was kind of very steady. I mean, it was very flat. After initial, so it shaped a very long U uh, cup and handle thing, right. and now basically it's. Um, I mean, it it popped recently. It's just right. the last few months. So basically, if I just looked at it from uh, from the astrological point of view, is that Litecoin would uh, sort of be very blah for many years. Uh, it started, I think, in two thousand eleven. Um, it had a real, like, significant uh, growth. Is starting from September. Um, I saw. I see mid-September here, 2017, mm -hmm. 
and uh, that's when it just like climbs um, but then um, uh, come December and there's a reason why it climbed you know yeah. it, uh, basically if I can just mention a little bit of astrology speak here is that Jupiter had a huge influence on its uh, climb unfortunately while Jupiter is influencing its climb Saturn comes in right in December uh, and basically astrologically speaking mid-December it just comes in and puts on the brakes Mm -hmm. uh, and then that's when it starts sliding down. But there are also other factors that are playing into 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 Litecoin, in the sense that um, um, starting from this month, basically early this year, uh, uh, and uh, until sort of May, um, we might see that it will grow, but it won't grow substantially. So these breaks that you talk about are they also affecting Bitcoin and the other cryptos? Yeah, yeah well, uh, to a certain extent, yes. Yeah. I mean, some there is uh, what I would call it in in uh, you know if we look at astrology how it applies to individual, is that we have our own movements and our own luck, mm -hmm. um, and our own fate, so to speak. But then there is the overall fate, which kind of plays. So the overall fate um, is applicable to all uh, cryptocurrencies, and so you'll see that they'll all move up together and go down together. But then the individual ones will actually allow it the potentiality to either make it or you know yeah. not make it. So that's uh, that means Bitcoin is. I mean, the same set on influence is not on Bitcoin right now. No, not, uh, not no, it's uh, it, it doesn't. Yeah, because yeah. the chart is totally different. Yeah. And, um, but here with Litecoin, what happened is is that uh, um, all of the planets affect everything and all people at yeah. the same time. But some of them they get the effect. Yeah. With Litecoin, there was uh, the Saturn breaks really put on uh, have a tremendous effect. Yeah. yeah. So the, that means. Litecoin could does it have a, a future at all? I mean, I, I mean, how many years can you? It, it does. Uh, say it survives. I don't know how long it will survive, um, but the thing is that uh, I can tell you that uh, basically it will do well uh, this year uh, and next year, um, um, and, and then continue, and then in 2020 uh, it's going to experience a shakeup which will actually, uh, you find that for those two or three years, it may not do as well. Like after 2020? 2020 onwards, yeah. like uh, s spring, early spring or, or mm -hmm. late winter, um, Litecoin might not do as well. Yeah. Um, uh, with the, with the Litecoin this mm -hmm. year, um, basically I think it will do quite well till, um, till mid, um, Till, uh, till mid uh, or late uh, May, but basically May, it will continue to do well. And then uh, from May to s s May, June, July, August, it may not do as well. Mm -hmm. And then basically, um, you know, start... Actually, I don't see it doing well for the rest of the year until November. Okay. Yeah. So... And... Um so that, could that mean that, I mean, this is uh, speaking of emotions, I can, can really f fully understand that because I um, I was definitely, I mean, I was not buying Litecoin because I was enthusiastic. <laughs> I, I was basically buying Litecoin because a lot of people who were right about other coins, they, they basically were very bullish on Litecoin, like Cliffy, for instance. Um, and, uh, but it kind of went against my intuition to some degree. So, um, that does not doom Litecoin yet, but the, I wonder if it's maybe really, as you said, it's kind of a, a cold, emotionally cold coin. Um, could that mean that despite all these emotions, there would be still a, a price increase because yeah. institutional, like very calculating, yeah. you know, hedge funds, hedge funds are maybe not so emotional less, but, uh, you know, um, you know, like if it, it's always talked that this is a coin that uh, will be big in uh, for merchandise, like you know, as a payment vehicle, contrary to most other cryptos, like you right. basically pay with Litecoin for your Amazon or mm -hmm. um, to, uh, uh, purchases, and so there's yeah. less emotion involved because it's. Um, 
Yeah, I, uh, the way I would look, I mean, I'm just purely looking at it from, mm. from the astrological perspective, is that, um, yes, it will continue to do well over time. The only difference is that it won't do as well as, for instance, other tokens or other yeah. cryptos that will come up. Uh, the potentiality, theoretically, might be that it is fantastic uh, because of its uh, um, probably um, individual user perspective. Yeah. But then on the end, uh, just looking at it from the astrological perspective, it doesn't seem very, um, very attractive. Will it die? No. Will yeah. it do well? Yes, gradually. So we're looking yeah. at a gradual incremental increase. However, uh, there are um, there are years when it won't do as well. Yeah. So if you're doing a comparative analysis between Litecoin and other uh, um, uh, mm. cryptos that's in the market, it's like, well, you know, maybe I should jump ship and, you know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, personally, if I had to venture out and if I had coins, um, what I would do is basically at the end of May or end of, um, yeah, May, pre pretty much uh, like jump ship and yeah. look at other other opportunities. Mm. Well, that's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, we measure this, or Swamiji measures this against mainly Bitcoin, I think. Yeah. So Bitcoin is, of course, the, uh, the reserve currency of cryptos. Yeah. And we had a, a brief look at uh, Populous as well, so he was quite enthusiastic about that. But uh, we have to clarify the dates yeah. first and then do another video. About uh, you, by the Populous. way, Litecoin will do very well overall this year and next year. Yeah. So we're talking about uh, 2018 and 19, and that's why I say 2020, yeah. um, I don't see doing as well. But Litecoin yeah. will continue to, uh, to do well in the next coming two yeah. years. Well, it will not be a revolution. I like. Uh, I mean, it's not. No, uh, no. I think there will be some other uh, tokens or other means of um, um, uh, currency exchange, yeah. which will be better than Litecoin. Uh, yeah, I mean, basically, what Litecoin is is a. I mean, it's a copy of Bitcoin that has been modified. I mean, uh, it's not a SHA two fifty six encryption, but they have another encryption and yeah. they did some things um, differently, and they're now developing this lightning network. So there is a lot of expectation and enthusiasm in some areas, but I feel uh, maybe yeah. so far <laughs> nothing come, comes out of it. Good. Um, yeah, because basically, I mean, just to recap again, this year the potential is very good, next year the potential is good, but when you compare Litecoin with other uh, uh, coins, then maybe it's not uh, doing as well. Yeah. Good, that's that. I think that was it. Um, going like fun.